Okay, so what is going on, you guys? Um, so I have decided to do another um, original spread. This is an original spread by Alam and Spreads, yours truly. And this is a spread about what they see in you. Now, this could just be someone that you're crushing on, someone that you're dating, someone that you've been in a serious relationship with, someone that you're thinking about getting a relationship with, and you just want to see um, what this person thinks of you. Like, um, what do they see in you? You know, what attributes are highlighted the most in their mind? So... This is uh, why I, this is what, I'm so, my gosh, this is what inspired this spread, okay? Because a lot of times, we just like to know what people think about us. We like to know what people see in us. Because, like, I feel like a lot of times, too, um, people see things in us and we're like, I don't see that. What the hell do you see? It's kind of like with beauty. Everyone's like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. When you, when you look in the mirror, you don't, you don't see it. You're like, I'm not seeing that. So... I feel like we, underest we underestimate ourselves a lot, okay? So that's why I made this spread. What do they see in you? This is for my singles, or this could just be, um, this is for someone who's, this could be also for someone who's dating somebody. And you just wanna see what they see in you. Now, if this does not resonate with you, please check your rising um, or moon sign. This is gonna, we're gonna start with Aries, okay, Aries? So let's see what, uh, this person sees in you, whatever you're thinking of. So the first card is going to be your personality. What does this person see, see in you as far as your personality goes? Like, what do they think about your personality? Um, the second card is going to be your looks, their attraction to you. What attracted them to you? Like, how do they feel about the way you look? Okay. Um, the third card is going to be the challenge. What do they see um, as a challenge in connecting with you? What do they see as a shortcoming regarding you? Okay. And then the fourth card is going to be the overall relationship or the overall connection. What do they see um, about the overall connection? How do they feel about that? Okay. So Aries, let's start with you. Um, please like and subscribe, you guys, and comment as well. Appreciate it. Show some love. I put a lot of energy into these readings and to coming up with these spreads as well. So show your girl some love, okay? So Aries, let's see what this person sees in you, okay? So your personality, let's see what they think about your personality. The Ace of Pentacles. So Aries, I feel like this person thinks that you're a little bit selfish and I feel like this person feels like you're not really offering them too much. Like what you're offering is not really shit. And um, like maybe you're kind of standoffish in your personality. Maybe you're not really offering them much about yourself. You're not really telling them much about yourself. Or maybe they don't really know much about you yet to really discern anything. Um, but I do feel like um, this person feels like you're kind of selfish. You're not really a giving person. Um, maybe you're like a taker, I feel like. Okay, we're going to clarify that as well. And what do they feel about your looks or your attraction? The two of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like they're up in the air about that. I feel like they're... Um, I'm not going to say, like, this is also like your looks and if, if they're attracted to you. I do feel like... Um, they're not juggling you with someone else. I do feel like they are attracted to you. They do find you to be attractive. Um, but it's like so-so. It's like um, maybe they don't feel like you're super beautiful. They don't feel like you're super ugly either. I'm sorry, you guys. If you guys don't want the truth, please don't watch these readings because I'm not going to hold back, okay? I'm not going to lie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what the cards are telling me, all right? So we're also going to clarify these as well. So let's see what, um, what they feel like is a challenge for you, like what's your challenge or what's your shortcoming, is the temperance in reverse. So this person feels like you're imbalanced, Aries. They feel like you are an imbalanced person. You don't have a hold on your emotions or um, like maybe they feel like you're a little bipolar as well, like you're hot and cold, like you don't have balance. Um, Yeah, you don't have balance and you don't have clarity. And I also, this is the Sagittarius card. So maybe they feel like you could be a little bit more adventurous as well um, and that you're not. So I feel like that's, that. they feel like this is a challenge for them. Like you don't, you're not really adventurous. You're not really balanced. Maybe you might be a little bipolar as well. Um, but they feel like this is a challenge. Um, okay, so in the overall, the two of cups in reverse. 
So I feel like at this time, this is just for right now, the energies can change in two hours, but I feel like at this time, Aries, this person is not wanting to offer you anything. Like, um, whether you're single or with them, I feel like uh, right now, overall, they're feeling like they don't really want to offer, they don't really want to give this relationship, you know, they definitely don't see it to be something that's long-term, Okay. Um, they're not really offering up too much emotion right now. I feel like maybe this, maybe this is a new relationship. This could be somebody new or a crush, um, or someone that you're not even talking to. Maybe this is someone that you're just watching. Um, but this person is not really offering their emotions. Okay. In the situation. And I feel like they don't really see the situation going anywhere. They don't, they don't see the, they don't see the, uh, the connection that they have with you as an emotional one. Maybe it's more, they're more logical about the connection. Um, but there's definitely not an emotional connection here. I feel like they have not developed any feelings for you yet. Maybe it's more just like talking right now, chatting on a logical thing. So we're going to get some clarifiers too. why they feel like you're not a giving person in your personality. Why do they feel like you're selfish or like you're a taker? Okay. Okay, we have the star card here. So Aries, I feel like this person feels like you're you're selfish or you're um or you're not like a you're a taker more than a giver. I feel like they feel like this is because um like I kind of feel like this person thinks that you're a star. And I feel like um they feel like you're not really a generous person or you're not really a person that gives or maybe you're not really a person that offers things up like they have to come to you like you're not going to be the one to offer anything because i feel like this aries this person feels like you are a star you're very popular you're healing and this is this could be why they feel like you're being selfish or you're holding back you're not really giving up too much of the relationship because you're healing you're in a process of healing or they just may feel like you have other options, you're popular, that's why you're not really giving them the time of day, okay? And as far as your looks go, let's see. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So Aries, I feel like um, they do think you're attractive, They don't, but I feel like they're living in the past. I feel like you remind them of someone that they used to date as far as your looks go. I feel like... Um, yeah, I feel like you were, they're, they're stuck, they're, they're kind of, I feel like they're stuck on someone from their past or they're stuck in the past. Um, and I feel like, uh, Aries, I feel like you remind this person of someone that they used to date in their past. So I feel like maybe right now they're not even like, they're not even seeing your beauty because they're, they're too stuck on someone in their past. Like, okay. Okay, and as your as your challenge goes, they have the they have they think that you're they think that you're bipolar bipolar. They think that you're very imbalanced, um, but at the same time, they also think that you're very victorious and you triumph. Like they see that they see that sometimes you can be imbalanced or sometimes you can be bipolar, hot and cold, and your emotions are all over the place. But they also see that they also see you as someone who's very victorious, someone who's very triumphant. Like yeah, you might have you might be imbalanced or bipolar, or you might have some hiccups in your life. But they see you as someone who is triumphant. Like you you persevere, even if, even though even though you are imbalanced or even though everything is not. Um, Everything is not in one place. Like your your life might be in fucking shambles, but they see you as someone who is very strong, someone who's very victorious, um, someone who's someone who has overcome all this shit. So they see you as someone who they see you as someone who's very victorious. They see you as a victory, um, and they see you as someone who overcomes their challenges. Like they see you as someone who doesn't let anyone stop them, even if they even if you are imbalanced or you're going through some shit or you're bipolar. I'm repeating myself. Sorry. Um, and then in the overall relationship, they have the, um, they have the, you know, right now, I feel like it's not an emotional relationship right now. They're not really offering their emotions. They may, you might be dealing with someone who's more logical. Okay. But I feel like this person is having a, like a change of heart. I feel like they're wanting to open up emotionally. Like they're wanting to offer love now Like they're wanting to take the relationship to the next level. Like maybe you're just dating them and they want to, maybe you guys are just talking. They want to be boyfriend and girlfriend, or maybe you guys have been talking for a long time and they want to commit to you now. I feel like they're seeing the situation, the relationship, the connection from a different perspective now. I feel like they're gaining a different perspective. 
And I also feel too, they might feel like they're just waiting around for you. They're, like they're just like you, you're kind of leading them on a little bit. That's why they're not opening up to you emotionally. They might be feeling like, hey, she has, this person has other options. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of hanging around until she can find somebody. Um, she's not really opening up to me. So I feel like I keep saying she, I'm sorry, um, but they, whatever, it could be, you could be male or female. Um, but Aries, I feel like this person is not opening up to you because they feel like you're just keeping them waiting. Like you, I feel like they're protecting their emotions because they feel like you're not serious and you're going to just like keep them waiting around, hang, hanging in there. Like, or they're just, they're hanging in there. Like, that's the thing. Like they may not be emotional right now or open to be emotional. It might not be an emotional relationship, like super romantic and touchy and affectionate and stuff like that. But I feel like whoever this is Aries they're hanging in there they're wanting to they're wanting to change change the dynamics of the relationship okay so overall I feel like I feel like this could work I feel like whoever you're dealing with Aries if this is a crush or this is someone that you've been talking to for a long time I feel like this could work I feel like right now it's not emotional it might be a, it might be a relationship that's very new um, so you have not had time to develop any feelings for this person yet. So I feel like that could be it too. But I feel like both of you or this person, um, they're seeing they're they're seeing the situation from a different perspective, or they're wanting to. Okay. So this is what this person sees in you. All right. So. Aries, I hope this helps you guys a little bit better. So please um, don't forget to like and subscribe and to comment to let me know if this spread actually helps you at all. If it doesn't, I won't do it again. But if it does, I'll do it again. Okay, so thank you so much.